I'd like to thank Nada firstly for nominating me for this award and secondly for his consistent support for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender young people in Calderdown. I wish Nada and his partner Helen and their family all the very best for their move to Istanbul. I hope you have a wonderful time, not least exploring such an exciting city full of history. I have to admit, as a plastics graduate, I wished I was coming with you. I'd like to thank Liz North, whose hard work and commitment ensured Gallic's administrative, legal and financial responsibilities were fully met. Without these foundations, the development and progression of Gallic services could not have been achieved so successfully. I'd like to thank all those who volunteered as Gallic trustees over the years, whose support was crucial for the governance of the organisation. I'd also like to thank Calderdale Council for the financial support they gave Gallic for eight years, and in particular those officers and agencies who supported our work. How times have changed. When Calderdale Council first provided grant aid to Gallic, you were criticised in the media by one of your colleagues for giving funding to lesbian and gay young people to have, quote, get to know you better sex parties, unquote, when there were more deserving causes. Here I am in 2012 receiving the Citizen of the Year Award that recognises me and my work with LGBT young people in Calderdale. Wow! This is the second time this year that my work's been recognised. In February, Lancashire County Council Archives took into care my significant library collection, which means it's safe for the future and it's now open to the public. I began my collection in 1987 when I jointly set up Lesbian Information Service in Leicester. I co-ran this for 12 years until my work in Calderdale took over. In 1999, having identified through research the significant needs of lesbian and gay young people in Calderdale, I set up Gallic with some of the young people who had taken part in the research. I am extremely sad that Gallic had to close last year. But I am very, very proud of what we were able to achieve during the 12 years of our existence, not least helping young people to be proud of who they were and supporting them to turn their lives around. I'm especially proud of those young people who have stood up and given presentations to challenge institutional homophobia. The first presentation was to over 200 pupils at Holy Trinity and St Catherine schools this was followed by many, lots, many more to lots of services locally, but also to much acclaim at conferences and events in Bradford, York, Nottingham, Cardiff and several times in London. I'm proud of what I've achieved with my life. I've supported LGBT young people to have a normal adolescence. I've enabled them to meet other young gay people, to not be isolated and on their own to feel normal and not a monster, to have the confidence in who they are and to be able to challenge discrimination. My passion for challenging injustice and campaigning for the rights of LGBT young people was born out of my own experience. I grew up in a poor single parent family in 1950s Lancashire, knowing I was gay from about the age of 11 but not knowing any other gays. I left school at 15 with no qualifications. I worked in local factories, at least there was work. I escaped my small town existence by joining the WRAF. I served in the Royal Air Force for six years, surviving both basic training and several witch hunts to expel lesbians. On DMOB, I took a shorthand typing course and became a secretary in London. But I soon realised that without qualifications, I wasn't going to get very far, not to mention the fact that I wasn't exactly secretarial material but I was a good secretary. I became a mature student and gained the equivalent of A-levels and then an upper second degree at London University. Without a grant, there's no way that I could have done that. I then used my education and became a youth and community worker, but having come out as lesbian at my first staff conference, I was discriminated against and told in no uncertain terms that as a lesbian I couldn't work with girls and that I'd never be promoted. So I moved to Leicester and with my then partner, Sandra Lucille, set up Lesbian Information Service. Building on this experience, I spent the last 25 years of my life supporting LGBT people, raising the issues, challenging homophobia. I did what I did to make sure that young people from similar backgrounds to me did not have to suffer internalised homophobia 
isolation and discrimination. I believe I've achieved a lot over the years and this award goes some way to recognising my achievements. However, much, much more is needed. I was never bullied at school, whereas now homophobic bullying is rife. This has got to stop. Parents must learn to love and accept their children, irrespective of whether they're gay, straight, bi or trans. And individuals must stop using religion to promote their own homophobia. As councillors, you have power to do something. I thank you very much for this award, and I ask you ensure the work that Gallic began continues for as long as it's needed. Thank you.